All righty, good night, everybody. Hello, hello. Jeanette, hello. you're here. That's amazing. <laughs> yes. There you go. Okay. Can you speak again, please, if you don't mind? <laughs> Hello. Yes, Gary. Good. I was I was double check, double checking my headsets, okay. and uh, yeah, so that's why I asked you to double check. Thank you so much for the um, for the homework. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. How do you say "estaba bien"? <laughs> Is it good? I, I'm not going to tell you. It will. The people will be personally okay. So don't oh, worry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that's good. Great job. And okay, I send you, uh, you the information as well for you to practice um, yes, the yes. phrasal verbs, right? I was reading that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I send you with in and out. And also oh, I yes. send you like a two brief uh, quick quizzes. So you can double yes, check. Yes. Yeah, and you can do it as many times as you wanted to. Because in that case, you, they will help you to like refresh and at the same time to get used to them. Okay? Okay, thank Increase you. Increase vocabulary. My pleasure. You know what? We're going back to Comfort Inn because Helen Mercedes is back at the business. Yeah. Hi, Helen. How are you? Hi, Helen. Hey. <laughs> hello, hello. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. I was uh, just speaking with Daniela and talking with her, and uh, I let her know that you are back on business because you're back on. Uh, at Comfort Inn, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm working from 3 to 11, so I'll be here for from, a while. Really? From 3 p.m. to 11? Woohoo! Yes. So yes. you right now you are at the front desk or the front clerk. Exactly. That's I'm amazing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're going to do a lot of, uh, okay, that will be nice because I will try to like, when we speak in dialogues and try to put this in practice what we have seen in class, we're going to try to like incorporate uh, different environments, right? Perfect. Like That would be yeah. nice. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, my pleasure. Yeah, so everybody will um, try to increase the vocabulary in the areas that they move on, right? In the areas that they exactly. work for. So that will be good. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. My pleasure. Anita, how are you, Anita? I think thank you. Ah, pretty good with a lot of energy <laughs> as always it's really hot right yeah right yeah and it's not raining oh come on i wish it could rain well it start raining really early in the afternoon here when i lived but right now no so hopefully it rains so i can sleep well like a baby and in, in a fresh environment <laughs> anita it's nice to meet you nice to have you here uh, I also have Mr. Jose Ismael that it's really nice because I, that his background that he has like a, he's coming in and out, in and out. So it's like, that's really nice, you know? I like mm -hmm. it. Yeah, I like it. So uh, it looks like if your head, just your head is over the air, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Uh, but it's like, I like it. Yeah, I like the background. It's really nice. It's no, it's not bad. <laughs> no, it's not bad, actually. No, 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 no. At least I can see your face, which is really good. Okay, thank <laughs> you. I... I like it. I really like it. It was like, oh my God, is this Mr. Ismael House? That's amazing. I, was like, <laughs> I, li I like your background. <laughs> thank you. It's nice thank to you. have you here. Yeah. Fernando, how are you? Hello, teacher. How um... are you? A little tired, teacher. Yes. A little tired. A little tired. But tomorrow is Friday. Yes. The body knows that tomorrow is Friday. <laughs> so, well, for some of you, yeah, you work yeah, on uh, weekdays, right? Yeah. yeah, teacher. The Now the work was a bit heavy. Yes, I can imagine. Oh. Yes. Whatever yes. is going it, to be a ride. In the, mor in the morning, mm -hmm. uh, in the morning, I went to say, uh, a video at the at the restaurant Doña Labra. Mm -hmm. uh, at the Doña Labra restaurant, okay. The, yes. In the afternoon, I went to the inauguration of the the new Insta for only course. Really? That's amazing. Yes. How was it? Was it good? Was it interesting? Very interesting teacher. Wow. 
Okay, you're going to share later on some information, okay, with us. That would be amazing. That's great. And now you're here. You're here with us. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, guys, um, I send you information to everybody so you can, like, continue practicing, okay? But today, uh, we're going to focus on something really interesting. Thank you so much for sharing what you did today, Fernando. Thank you. And I'm so happy to see you today. Okay. Who else we have here? Oh, yes. Uh, Mr. Melvin. He was drinking like a, a cold beverage, I think. Hello to all. I'm just uh, finished the dinner. You were, oh, that's okay. Don't worry. Was it good? Yes, yes. Pineapple juice. Pineapple juice? Yes. Oh, that's great. That was the oh, your whole dinner? Only pine pineapple juice and that's it? No, no, no. Ah. This is the mom. Um, my beverage only. Ah, okay. So like, oh my God, is he on diet or what? No, <laughs> no right? No, no, no. <laughs> no, never in your entire life. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That's thank okay. you. Thank you. But thank you so much for joining today's class. Uh, do you still thank working you. or you finish your work right now? I'm just finished work and oh. I'm finished to eat. Oh, <laughs> so it was really hard, right? It was hard day. Yes, but that would be okay for me, work. okay? If you would like to uh, do the digestion and try to continue drinking your beverage, that's fine for me, okay? Don't worry about that. Okay, thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. What about Miss Maria del Carmen? Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. It's been a pleasure to have you here. How was your day? Um, I'm fine. Really? Very what did you do? Um... I I am doing nothing <laughs> this day. Nothing? Oh my god, that was really tough. Did you got tired but, right away? <laughs> but uh, tonight I, I I will work. Ah, you will work tonight? Yes. Really? I work at eleven PM. From eleven PM? Mm -hmm. Until what? Until eight o'clock next day? At uh, uh, to 7 a.m. You have oh, mm -hmm. you have a night shift. Yes. Well, basically, we call that in a call center. Do you work in a call center, by the way? No, I work in a hotel. I am ah, in a, a hotel with with Helen. Oh, with Helen. Ah. Also, you work with Comfort Inn. Yes. <laughs> hey. Okay. Well, in a call center, for example, environment when we have like a, that, a such a late. Um, shift right that in your case is from 11 p.m <laughs> until 7 a.m we call <laughs> graveyard graveyard that yeah. is a graveyard shift exactly let me let me write it right now on the the chat really quickly okay i have a grave that's a graveyard that's a graveyard shift yeah yes that is for really late 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 until early morning mm-hmm yeah. Oh my goodness. And that is your shift or it changes? For this week. This oh, I, so every week you have a different shift? Yes. It's different schedule. Different schedule. Right? Okay. Oh my goodness. And different day off? Yes. Okay. For how many day off do you have per week? When my schedule is the same of tonight, mm -hmm. I have a two to take off. Ah, one in during the weekend, one on the weekend. In the weekend. So two so so you have weekends off. Uh I have two days uh, off mm -hmm. in in oh so you have a two day off during the week that means from Monday to Friday or from Monday to sa to Sunday? Monday to Sunday. Ah, okay, so in this week, which are your free, uh, two days off? Which ones? Um, Monday and, and, and Tuesday. Monday and Tuesday? Yes. <laughs> ah, okay, so you your two days off are during the week, okay? Yes. Y you have a, a weekdays, two days off. Yeah. Well, two days off weekdays, you can say that. Okay, that's great. Excellent. So we have two comfort in girls. That's amazing. I like it. And do you do exactly what Merce uh, Helen Mercedes does? Or you work in a different area? Yes. 
the same? Uh, for this moment, uh, Helen help helping. Is helping? In the, in, yes, in in my area. In your area. Area, but oh, okay. or in different area. Like HR, I think, right? HR department, if I'm not mistaken. She work in. She works in human resource. Yes, she works. Yeah. She works. <laughs> yes, she works in human resources. But most of the time, when we talk about that department, guys, we use the abbreviation HR. HR department. HR. Okay. Yes. HR department, and we know that we are talking about human resources. All okay. right. But if you want to say that in the completely way of, well, you can say they're a human resources, right? <laughs> you can say that exactly that. Oh my God, I had to put it in. Oh, and you know what? If Because it's a name of, the, of a, a department, a specific department of, a, um, of an enterprise, right? Or a company, you have to put it in capital letters, okay? The okay. abbreviation, but at the same time, if you're putting the, the entire word, like human resources, you got to put the H in capitalize and R in capitalize. Because okay. you're talking about a specific department name. You see, I have it here. I send it to you. Uh -huh. I send it to you through okay, shops. Okay. Very okay. good. So, you see, you, we, we learn something new every single day. <laughs> All right. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Uh, who else we do have here? Uh, 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 um. Mademoiselle Patricia Melara. Oh, she's connecting the audio. I think she understood me. No? Hi, Patricia. <laughs> I want to hear you. We cannot hear you right now. Good night. Good night. I'm sorry, but I, 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 I said, um, in, English, in French, I said, single lady, Patricia Melara. Okay? Yes. Okay. 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 How was your day? Okay, fine. What did uh, you do? What? What did you do? Uh, very work. Uh, you worked? Okay. Yes. The uh, whole day? Whole day. At what time did you start your shift today? Or did you start work? Uh, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. And you finish at what time? Uh, oh, no, uh, 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. um, finish at uh, 6 p.m. Okay, so you work from 7 a.m. until 6 p.m. Um, okay. Or you can say, my shift is from 7 to 6. Okay. Okay? You can say either or is fine. Yeah, shift. Gu guys, shift, okay, the schedule is the time, right? But, for example... Uh, Maria has a different time of work than Helen, for example, right? So if we're talking about the time of working, we call shift, okay? My shift, for example, is from, for example, let me put you that the example that you gave us to us right now. From 7 a.m. until, you said six, right? Patty? 6, 6 p.m., is that correct? 6 p.m. Okay, cool. Thank you. Oops. I think, oh, my, that's why. Because you know what? I got to change my keyboard from English to Spanish, you know? And from Spanish to English and French, you cannot imagine. Oof. I got to change it in a different, in, a, in a, at least three languages. Oof. There you go. Okay. So, oh, may I apologize because seven is supposed to be like this. Give me one moment. Seven until 6 p.m. Oh, yes, from 7 a.m. Um, let me put it better because seven goes instead of, not, instead of zeros, it goes like uh, O's. It's not supposed to be like that. Okay, there you go. That is the correct way. From 7 a.m. until 6 p.m. Yes, that's the right one. 
And don't forget that if you put AN, you gotta put the dots between A dot M dot, right? PM, P dot M, P, okay? This is really <coughs> important. There you go. Excellent. One more. <coughs> Thank you, Patty. <coughs> One more. All right. Coralia, how are you? Hi, and you? Ah, oh, pretty good. As always, with a lot of energy. And yes, also because I, I love to speak. Yes, you know, right? Yes. I, I, because I already have my dinner as well. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We need gasoline to move on, right? Yes, that is, that is good. Tell me, how was your day? What did you do? Uh, today I worked in home office. You worked from home office? You worked yes, from I home. Worked. Okay. Yes, I worked from home. And I I complete some activities that I have. I completed. I completed some activities that I have um, incompleted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that I ha that I haven't done it yet. That, or I that have you haven't done. finished it. Mm -hmm. Yet yeah, that I have yet finished. Mm -hmm. And I sent some reports. You sent. Yes. I sent some reports and I talk with some families. Ooh, you spoke every, with them. I spoke. With Excellent. Them. That's nice. Yes, uh -huh. awesome. ah. Have you I seen already, it. guys? Thank you. Have you seen uh, already the simple pass? Yes, right? Yes. Yeah, but... so so that's why <laughs> every time every yes. day, guys, I will ask you how was your day? Which activities yes. did you do? In order for us, it doesn't matter if you're not seeing though that topic. But um, it's really important that we practice it because we tend mm -hmm. to, 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 to forget. Why? Because, uh, well, Fernando, Adela, and Melvin, they know that. We, we used to talk about that in the previously model, that um, Salvadorian and Latin American people, we are we love to speak, right? We are so friendly. We are so easygoing, right? And we're talking about the present. Then we move back to the past, and then we move forward to the future, and then we come back to the present, right? We mix all the tenses. But in English, no. Well, they're not supposed to be like that also in Spanish, right? If you start talking about present, stay in the present. If you move on in the past, just pass. Past, past. And if you would like to talk about the future, only future. But don't mix it up. Okay? So this is really important because we need to learn how to stay in present, how to use the present verbs, how can we talk in the past and stay in the past, and how to talk about in the, in the future. If you know the rules for three, in the future, maybe later on, you will be able to mix it up and don't get confused. But right now, if you talk about the past, stay in the past, okay? And don't forget about regular verbs, the T ter termination, I, D, T, and D, right? And irregular verbs as well. That's why I ask you that. Because I want you to practice, continue practicing, okay? The last but not least, Mr. Umberto, how are you? Hello. Good how evening. was your day? Uh, it was great, thanks. Really? I, I, I had a lot of work today, mm. so, uh, it was a, a good day. It was a good day? Yeah. But tough I had at the same a lot time. Of work. Yeah. I had two or three meetings in the day. Okay. So after that, I received uh, people from the from the embassy for the United States. So from, I need to from you from the United States embassy. From the United States embassy. Mm -hmm. So I practice my English as well. Yay! Excellent. My, my my bad English. So but your bad English. Come on, no, of course not. Of course, you will, you will but improve, right? But, but you're good right now, yeah. You yeah. will continue rock and roll. <laughs> Definitely, that's nice. And, and tell us, tell us about your experience today with the embassy people. How did you feel? It, it was a little bit confused uh -huh. because people speak very fast. Mm -hmm. so, so in order to understand the context, it was difficult for me. I know, but uh, I tried to 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 get the the idea. So, I think 
that my thoughts in the conversation, it was clear. So mm -hmm. it was a good experience. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Yes. So I, I haven't let you know that, guys. I'm sorry. But from now on, when we put like um, um, listening uh, activities, I will try to switch the English from people from different countries that speaks English, but they are not a native English. And also at the same time, from the United States, because uh, as you can imagine, or if you have um, seen Humberto, they, they are from the United States, the people who we spoke to today. And native, native, native ones? Okay, okay. Yeah. For example, if they are come from Louisiana, from Washington, from Houston, Texas, oof, from California, etc. Even though they live in the same United States, they do have a different accent. Yeah, in fact, uh, one of them uh, said, uh, hello, my name, hi, hi, hello, my name is Ron, 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 Ron. <laughs> He was How from Houston, you? Texas. <laughs> he was from Houston, definitely. He was exactly yeah. like ex-president uh, Bush. Uh, yeah, most of the time people from Houston, they do not open their mouth. They just speak faster. Like, hey, hello, my name is Simon Tata, I'm simply a to count if you have to sing back out. Like, what? <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So it's good. It's good. Maybe you're not going to send the whole uh, scenario, but you catch the idea. And that's that's really good. So that's nice. <laughs> Congratulations. You need to feel proud of yourself. You could defend Thanks. yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see? Okay, that's amazing. I'm so happy for you. Thanks. Yeah, I'm so happy. Yeah, you see, everybody is smiling. Jose is smiling. Like, yeah, that's my man. Yeah, that's my <laughs> classmate. Woohoo. All righty. Okay. Guys, did you have time to double check what I sent it to you for practicing by yourself? Did you have time or no? The exercise? No. Oh, but did you do your homework? Because I remember that I had a homework for you. Teacher, I have I have a problem because uh -huh. it, tell the me the link, excuse. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I tried to 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 add me to the to the group from mm -hmm. WhatsApp, but mm -hmm. I I didn't add add me. You you, you couldn't uh, join in. Join. join. Why? Join. Why not? What happened? The link uh, the link isn't open. Yeah, it should be open. Let me double check right now. Uh, let I, me, let me... I don't. I, I, I don't have the the group. The you don't have. Okay. Don't okay. That, that's what I'm going to do right now. Bear with me. Let me open this, and then I will share with you. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me search right now my screen a little bit. A little bit. Do, 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 do. There you go. Can you see my screen, guys? Yes. Yeah. Okay. This is supposed to be the WhatsApp group. You know. This one, there you go, this one. You don't have it? No. Okay. It's not clearly. What? Okay, I know. Yes, right now it's okay. Right now I it's okay? See. You don't, don't worry, I will send it to you right now. There you go. Okay, did you receive it? Yes. Okay. Yes. Click yes. on that, please. No, I, no, I don't have. What? What happened, Roxy? I, I don't have the, the link. You don't have the link. No. I will send it right now through the chat. Yeah, please. Yeah. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah. Cool. Ah. Okay, it's in the chat. So just click on that. And they will ask you to join it, and join it, please. Let me double check who I do have here on my list. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I have a lot of people here. Yeah, Catherine, Claudia, Roxy, Adala, Ismail, Hati, Helen, Jeanette, Noemi, Melvin. Yeah. Have a lot of people here. Yeah. There you go. Mm hmm. And also, I have Annie. Yes, I have her. She looks so beautiful in the, in the picture. You cannot imagine. <laughs> All righty. Okay, guys, please, if you, say, if you did your homework, 
the one that I sent it to you to practice the phrasal verb for in and out. I, one of your classmates already sent to me the homework. Please send it to me through the WhatsApp group so I can double check it and also a, a double check your writing, okay? Your writing skill, please, if you don't mind, okay? All righty. Hey, who has the idea what will be the topic for today? Oh my God. Nobody went to the platform by any chance? <laughs> no. Roxy, Samuel? Uh, modal, modal. <clears throat> I don't hey, remember. Modal. Carlito, yeah, that's amazing. Bravo. Excellent. Model verbs. Model verbs. Model verbs. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of model verbs, guys. But today we're going to focus on model verb can, could, would, and another expression that is would you mind to, to do what, you said? To make requests, okay? To ask for something. That's what we're going to see today. We have a lot of model verse, okay? But I'm not going to focus on the other ones because we have my, might, should, etc. But today we're going to talk about the three of them, okay? Mm -hmm. Model verse, all right? To ask for permission, to ask for request. You know what model verse are? Any idea? No? It's the way is the way to request something or, mm -hmm. or ask something. Exactly. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Exactly. To request something. And that's what we're going to see today. So let's let us start, okay? Let the body begin. <laughs> okay, very good. Are you able to see my screen right now, guys? Yes, yes. or no? Okay. Don't worry. Okay, I'm not going to put that. Okay, this is going to be the topic. Who can read it for me? Thank you so much, Samuel. Go ahead. <laughs> Requ request with mobile verbs and would you mind? Exactly. And would you mind? Okay, do it again because would you mind is a question. Go ahead. Read it again for me. Request with mobile verbs and would you mind? Excellent. That's what I need. Very good. Question intonation. All righty. Okay. Take a look, guys, because when we're talking about requested, and basically here, we're going to use these three model verbs, can, could, and would. Okay. What is the formula? We put the model verb. And don't forget this. Take a look at this one. The simple form of the verb. In this case, guys, who can let me know what is the verb here? In the first one. Turn off. Exactly. The verb is turn off. All right. What kind of verb is it? Phrasal verb. Phrasal verb, exactly. And because we are using a, a noun, in this case, the stereo, that's why we divide it, okay? Do you remember that, you see? You see that we are using, or we're putting in practices, the topics that we have seen so far, guys. Very good, but, but let me ask you something. Turn off, the, the main verb is this one, right? The particle is this one, off. Yes. Tell me. Turn. Is it in present, in past, or in future? Present. 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 So when we use the mother verb, we need to put it in present. Okay? What about Al this? Always, always in present, teacher? Mm, yes. No. No. Depends. But right now, in this particular one, yes. This, this particular one, yes. Okay. I, I will let you know why. Because uh, I'm going to explain in another class that also could sometimes it is the past of can but in this particular situation if we use it as a mobile verb no okay okay, mm -hmm. okay. But, but i i knew that you're going to ask me that question and i was prepared for that <laughs> all righty okay what about the second one 
Where is the bird? What is the bird here? Where is it? Close. 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 <clears throat> exactly. And you see, we put it in um in present tense. And as well here in would, we do have also the same example on this one. Remember? You see, we have a phrasal verb. You see? Take out. What does it mean? Put it away. Put it outside. Okay? And is in present and past or future? Present. 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 Very good. But I want you guys to take a look at something. Because, teacher, what is the difference between can, could, and would? Nobody will ask me that question. Teacher, what is the difference between can, cool, and would? I knew whether you're going to ask me that question. Present, the present, past, and future, no. No. Actually, no, guys, good. actually, the three of them, the three of them no. is for, is a, you ask for permission. No. Okay. The difference is that, is the, the, the formal way, for example, or the polite way. For example, can is asking for requests, but is more informal. Could is more formal. And would is the formal of the three, okay? However, let me let you know that these ones, you most of the time use it when you know the person you are talking with, okay? For example, it, that these expressions, the asking requests, can is less formal and would is the most formal of the three. But you can use the three of them when you're talking with somebody that you already know. For example, with your mother, with your sister, uh, with your family, uh, with your friends, with your coworkers, etc. Okay? Is that correct? I, yes, go ahead. But if I don't know the person, hey, I, yes. I have to use may. Uh, no. No, no, no. If you do not know the person, you can you can use that from the three, you can use the last one, would. Okay. You can, use, you can use it because from the three of them, that is the most polite. This one. This one. Okay. Uh-huh. This one, really oh. quickly. Yes, would is the most polite of the three. Oh. But, yes, would. Because okay. you are asking like in a, uh, I can say like an English or British way, would you please, you see? It is more polite from the three. But even though you can use can, could, and would most of the time when you're talking with somebody that you already know. Well, but you say, but let me let me answer the question of uh, Umberto, right? Is that correct? It was Umberto yeah. who asked me. Okay. But, yeah. but, but, mm -hmm. but but when when we but when we can use may. May is a model verb. No. Yes, may is a model verb. And this is may is not um is not quiet to make a request. I okay. will let you uh, yeah, it, you use it for something different. That's why I just mm -hmm. uh, emphasize this class on can, could, and would. Okay. Yes, but don't worry, I will send you information about the use for may and might because they might tend up to confuse. Mm-hmm. But right okay. now, with the information that we have seen, any questions so far, guys? No. No? Yeah. Yes. Patty, right? No. I cannot see you, so that's why I'm asking you. Let me go back. I have a question. Okay, let me go back. Who has a question? Raise your hand. Roxy. Roxy, I cannot see you, Roxy. Ah, uh, because I... No. Okay, okay, don't worry, but what's your question? Uh, when, but cool is, I can use in for... I can oh, use or can I, I use? Can I use when I, I prefer uh, the future or no? No, 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 no. Don't, don't talk about that, no. Nothing to do with future right now. Nothing to do with, only with present right now. No. In this case, no, because you're making a request. Okay, but don't worry. Umberto saying, hey, and what expression should I use if I do not know the person? 
Okay, this is when we come in for the next part. Do you remember what was the next part that we're going to learn when we're talking about requests? Would you mind? Would you mind? That expression, would you mind? You use it when you don't know the person because it is like the politest way of all of them. Es el más educado, the politest way of all of them. But the formula is different. Okay? I will show you right now the formula for would you mind? Because it's totally different from the one that we have seen right now. Can you see it, guys? Yes? All right. Okay, just don't forget that when can, could, and would, you need to put the simple form of the verb, okay? It doesn't matter if you're using a single verb, like the second question, or um, phrasal verb, like the first one and second one. But be before I, I take a look at the second part of this class, let's practice the pronunciation of the first one, okay? Repeat after me. Can you turn the radio, the stereo off? Can you turn the stereo off? Uh, 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 you don't have energy. Can you turn the stereo off? 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 Could you close the door, please? 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 Would you close the door, please? Would you close the door, please? Would you please take your garbage out? 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 Very good. I, I want you guys to pay, take a look at this particular. You see please here in could? And you see please in here in would? Okay. You can put it. It's not necessary that you use it. You can use it or you cannot use it. But if you're going to use it, and if you're going to use it with could, it needs to go at the end of the question, okay? And if it's at the end of the question, don't forget that you're going to use a coma, okay? Mm. If you're using mm. with could. But if you're using with would, it doesn't have to be at the end. You can put it in the middle. And if you see, there's no comma here. Okay, you that. can say, it. would for example, you can use it or you cannot use it. For example, let me read it back to you. The last question Would you take your garbage out? Would you please take your garbage out? Is it changed the meaning, guys, or no? No, no, it does not change the meaning at all. So that means that you it can use it polite. or you cannot use it exactly, but it's polite, it's more polite. You're right about that. So in my case, I always use it. But remember, if you use just please at the end of the question, it got to be divided by comma. And if you put it in the middle, like it, with would, it doesn't have to have comma. Okay? That's really important. Punctuation. Okay, now guys, take a look at this second one. Let me erase it really quickly because this is totally different. Okay. Now, Umberto, this is, this is coming with your, the answer of your question. What if I don't know that person? Okay. So if you don't know that person is, would you mind? But guys, if you use, would you mind? You need to use the verb, but you need to put the verb in an ing form, okay? In an ing form. Mm -hmm. This is really in important gerund. that you noted that, in gerund, okay? In gerund. okay? Remember, the verb is torn, right? Yeah. But put the ing. We have close, remember here, that you see, if we if we use close in ing, we erase the e and we put the ing form, right? You need to remember that to write it correctly. And if we use put, we double the t and we put the ing form. Those are basic rules, okay? Of transforming the verbs into ing form. Do you remember those rules? Or no? Hello. Would you find mm -hmm. reading the rules in, okay. the, well, in the chat? Yeah, yeah. No, there, we have a lot of rules here. But uh, what I'm going to do right now, because I'm not going to focus on that, 
but I will send it to you as soon as we finish the class because we have rules. When, when for example, we omit the E, when we double it, the termination, in this case, like put, for example, and when do we keep the Y and when we do not keep the Y, okay? We, ha we have rules. Basically, they're basic rules. I'm going to send it to you, okay? So you will know it. But what I want you to do to understand is that when you use would, you said would you mind, and then you see this is really important because would, this is the formula would. Then we have the subject, then we have mind, then we have the verb, guys, and then we have that complement. Okay. As long as you follow the rules, not a problem. There you go. Would you mind uh, practicing the pronunciation, guys? Yes. All righty. Would you mind turning the stereo down? Would you mind turning the stereo down? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind, mind, door, please? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? here? Okay. Would you like to practice? Yeah. <laughs> Are you yeah. see? Yeah, so, you see? I told you, would you like to practice? I use the first one, the phrasal verb. Now, would you mind practicing what we have seen so far, guys? You see? Uh-huh. That is different. Okay. We're going to practice that in a different tone. Boys, okay. we're going to practice. For example, uh, I'm going to ask. Um, Yes, no. I have a question. Go ahead. Girl. I have a question. Go ahead. What are the diff what are the reason because you use gerum, gerum, gerum is the correct mm -hmm. gerum. When you use wool, only the, only in this word. No, no on, 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 with wood, no. With with mother verb, no. We use gerum with the expression "Would you mind?" Ah, okay. Would, would you, you mind? mind? Yes, with the expression "Would you mind?" We use ing. With the okay. with uh, with only would as a phrase or verb, no. It has to be okay. the verb in present. Okay. 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 If this good. is if this is more polite, yes. more polite. This yes. is the reason because you use when you don't know the person. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. For example, can couldn't would from the three of them, the more politest is the would. And you use it uh, for somebody that you are familiar with. But if, for example, it's the first time, let's pretend Umberto. Umberto had met the embassy per persons today, right? So he doesn't know those people, okay? It's the first time that he, he see them or he met them. So he's going to say, would you mind? Yeah? Because it's the first time. I have problem to hear because because I hear the the background. Who has a background yes. there? Oh, I think it was Carlos Arevalo. <laughs> I don't know. No, no, no one's not you. No, no. Okay, who has a background? Nobody. Okay. Alrighty, very good. So do me a favor. We're going to practice can, could, and would. And then we're going to go with, would you mind? Okay, but you know what, guys? Um, we're going to put, to get into the roles, okay? So we can do that. For example, Noemi, I know that you are a mom, right? Yeah. And yeah. most of the time, you you are half familiar or you have a good relation with your, with your children. Mm -hmm. So I want you to make a request to your children. Let's pretend that Coralia is your children. <laughs> is your girl, right? And I want you to use can or could, either or, because that, is, that those are informal. But I want you to ask her to do something. But in like a mama tone of voice, like, could you? Like that, right? Please, if you don't mind. Don't feel bad, Coralia, please. Don't feel bad. Could, Coralia, could you pick up the your clothes, the floor, please? Okay, again, very good, very good. Coralia, could you? Could you? Coralia, Coralia, could you pick up the, your clothes of the floor, please? From the floor. From the floor, please. Okay. 
Okay, very yes, good. I can. <laughs> yes, okay, yes, mama, in a minute. Okay. Yes, mama. <laughs> very good. Now, uh huh. Um, Fernando, can you please use the, mod the model verb can and ask to something to Melby? Okay. Uh, Rodrigo, can I can no, swim? Melvin, Melvin, Melvin. Ah, Melvin, Melvin, Melvin can yes. swim? Uh huh. Can I swim? In what? Can I swim? Swimming. What do you want swimming. to say? Swimming. Oh. Swimming. swimming. Can you swim? Yes. Can, can I yes, swim? I can. Okay. Yes, very I can. good. Very good. All right. Uh, <clears throat> Jose Ismael. Okay, now is your turn to use wood. And wood, you can use it because you know your classmates, right? But it's the politest way of the three. So could you please be so kind? Oh, you see, I'm using all the words. Could you please uh, uh, request something to this beautiful lady, Mercy, please? Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I'm thinking with wood. With wood. Same. Only with wood. No, would you mind? Would you mind is different. Only with wood. Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Yes. Mercy, would you like to? Uh huh. <laughs> Sorry. Would, oh, uh, Mercy, would you like to? Turn on your camera, please. I don't know. If oh, yes, very is... good. Very no. good. Okay, Melvin. Thank you. Do me a favor. Could you please uh, use wood to request something to your wife? To my wife? Yes. Imagine She's that your wife here. is there. She's in here. Well, well use your imagination. <laughs> use your imagination. Okay. And pretend that you are doing something or something romantic. Darling. Uh, uh, oh my god. Uh, no, no, could you? No, I said would. <laughs> would, you, would you give me a kiss? Would you give me a kiss? You can do it much better. Um, uh, darling, would you give me a kiss, please? Would you please give me a kiss? All right. All right. Oh, oh. The intonation. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. could you please remember that you're Shakespeare? Okay. Something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. You, you see, hey, hey, Melvin, you cannot imagine. I have Corrales face, uh, Maxi face, Wendy, Maria del Carmen, Patty, Naomi, like. <sighs> yeah, that's great. Okay. <laughs> hey, go ahead, please. <laughs> Darling. Uh, oh, my goodness. Could you give me a kiss? Oh, my God. Kiss? That Can was great. <laughs> okay. Like a, Oh, thanks God she's not there. Okay, very good. <laughs> Excellent. All right. And now, Umberto. No, no, Umberto, no. Wait, wait, I will ask you in a minute, Umberto. Samuel. Yes. Could you please be so kind to invite a, a to ask something to Adela, please? You can use can, uh, could, or would, whatever you prefer. I will give you a choice today. Okay? You can pick as each of something. them. Mm -hmm. As as to other was something okay. Yes. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Adela. Don't think too much, okay? Uh, okay, I I don't <laughs> really know you, so I will use wool. Okay. Uh, Adela, would you please uh, say hi to me? Do it, Adela, please. Okay, very good. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Christian, it's your turn to ask something to Roxana Lopez. Hi, Christian. Hi, Christian. Houston, we do have a problem here, maybe. Christian is not there. Okay, Carlitos Arevalo. Could you please be so kind to ask something to Roxy, to Roxana Lopez? You can use could, would, or can. Oh, okay. Uh, could you help me to 
close all all statue in, in the computer, for example. Okay, very good, excellent. Yes, that's okay. It's a, it's a technical word for the system. Yeah, that's great. Catherine Ramirez, what about you? Hi, Catherine. Hi. Hi. Okay. Could, could you Would please you? be so kind to uh, ask uh, Helen Mercedes something? Okay. Um, could you explain me the topic, please? Very good. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Helen, now is your turn. But I want you to do me a favor. Would you mind if you use, uh, would you mind to, to ask something to Umberto? Look at his face. Hi, Helen. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Okay, I want you to use, would you mind? And ask something to Umberto. Would you mind, Umberto? Mm -hmm. would, you mind to, would, you mind to, uh, would you mind, remember, after would you mind, the verb, you gotta use it in present or ing form? ing form. ing form. ing. ING. So the verb, you have to be in ing, Helen. Uh huh. Umberto. Would you mind to? Would you mind to? No. Would you mind? Uh huh. I don't know. I'm lost. <laughs> You're lost. Don't worry. Okay. Now I'm going to do the inverse. Umberto, ask something to Mercedes. You uh, will Will you mind hanging out with me tonight? Oh, that's great. Would you mind hanging out with me tonight? <clears throat> okay. Maybe another day. Okay. <laughs> okay, you see? So, would you mind? And he used the verb in ing, hanging out. Yeah. Okay, now it's your turn. Ask something to Patricia Marie Melara. I'm going to ask. Yes, you using would you mind? If you don't mind. Hey, that's nice. <laughs> Patricia, would you mind to... Um, no, to, no. To, yeah, 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 sorry. Would you mind... Uh, um, ING form, right? Uh-huh. I hate this. Uh, you said, for example, like, let's pretend that Patricia works with you as Maria mm -hmm. del Carmen. Okay. Would you mind... Would you mind calling... Uh-huh. Calling? Your boss. Calling what? Because we need, calling to your boss, because we need new strategies for the, for the reservations. Oh my goodness. That was fantastic. You see? <laughs> uh, 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 okay. Yes. I hate verbs. So I, I, I told you, if you use it with your environment, that's much better. Yeah. It's easier. Uh-huh. Very good. Now, Maria okay. del Carmen, do me a favor. Ask uh, something to uh, 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 Daniela Janet using would you mind? Would you mind? Yes, please. Remember Daniel. that would you mind you use it when you don't know that person so well, okay? It's a polite way to ask something. Go ahead. Um, Daniela, yes. would you mind helping Helping me with my homework. Oh, that's nice. Excellent job. Oh, you see, she's really nice. All righty, very good. Excellent job. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, excellent. Wait, give me a little fire. Let me check. You see, I'm happy. I will give you a hug in my heart. And uh, woohoo, you see? <laughs> I use them. Very good. Excellent. So you see, guys, it's a little easy peasy quizzy, right? Or no? <laughs> yes or no? What do you think, guys? I got I got a question. You got a question. Go ahead. We can use the ING. We can use or can we use? 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 Can we use?
No, can we use? Oh, sorry, very good. Can we use the phrasal verb with ing? For example, uh, will you mind picking me up? Is yes. that is not correct? Yes, yes, of course. As because remember the phrasal verb is the pick up, right? But remember yes. the app is the particle, but the verb is pick. Pick. So oh. you need to like put it in ing form. Would you mind picking? Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, you're not going to touch the app. Ah, and, and it's really important uh, as well, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you okay. use the mode of verb, it has to be impressed. And I have to let you know something. Uh, can she close the door, please? You, you're not going to, for example, if you're using the third person, for example, we can or we should, for example, you do not uh, put the S, okay? You not put the S. Always in simple form, like yes, first always in simple person, form. I don't know. Yes, it doesn't matter if you use it a third person because we are used to that when we use a third person, we need to convert the verb into a third person, right? Like she opens, right? She closes, right? She talks, etc. But when you use model verbs, you do not do it. Okay. That is the only a uh, we can say. Rule out of the box. You see, out of the box. You mean that it doesn't follow the, the normal rules, right? That's what I mean, out of the box. Only we model verb, okay? If you don't know using model verb, you have to follow the normal rules, okay? Is it clear? Yay! Okay. Yay! Very good. Okay. Uh, now we're going to do something. We have five minutes left. So I'm going to divide this group into two groups. Okay. I'm going to put boys versus girls. Okay. I will give you only one minute, boys. You're going to create a questions. Okay. That you would like your girls classmates to answer. And using could, would, and would you mind? But of course, remember, it has to be always with respect, right? No question that makes you feel uncomfortable, okay? Okay, you have to be careful with that. That's all what I'm asking you. And girls, also you're going to do the same because you're going to ask the boys. But when we ask the boys, we're going to be like girl thing, you know? Like doing like, yes. Okay, very good. So we'll give you right now one minute. Let me just split it into groups. It will be, how many we are right now? 20, right? So that means we're going to be two groups. And I'm going to do it manually. So bear with me for a couple of minutes. Uh -huh. Let me check. I'm going to put number one. Uh -huh. I'm going to send you the invitation and please be so kind to accept it. I will do it in a couple of minutes. There you go. We have a lot of girls here today. I think we have more than boys. There you go. Okay. Uh -huh. There you go. And then we have boys. We have a few boys. That's not possible. All right. Okay, guys, I sent you the invitation already. Please accept it. Only one minute and then we come back together. Only Christian is missing. What happened with Christian? Hi, teacher. Excuse me. Yes. Um, I practice um, for forex uh, 
uh, partial examen. Oh, okay, okay, for your test. Uh, mm -hmm. Excuse me. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. I send you the invitation uh, with the, to work with your group. So please uh, accept it and you work with the guys right now. Okay. And then we're going to come back together, okay? <laughs> okay. Cool. Is three for each or only three for the group? I don't know. You have one know. minute. <laughs> but Remember, you can, please. could, or would, or would you mind? Okay. Uh, oh, but thank you. But for all, uh, we need to do more uh, question in group or for each person. No, oh, in group. That would be okay. At least if, if you have five, that would be amazing. Because okay. we don't know who you're going to ask. For example, Noemi, you can say, um, Melvin, I'm going to ask you something. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> and vice versa, right? Okay. Okay, okay so we have, we have three now. Okay, that's good. That's enough because we need to come back. Okay. Okay, guys. Oh, this is going Another to be example? good. <laughs> Another example. I finished. Yes. Thank you, Noemi. Thank you. <laughs> We're back together, right? Okay. Okay, volunteer for the girls. Okay, thank you so much, Coralia. First, Hello. I want to I wanna hear the question. What's the question that you have? I don't write a question. You didn't write it. I didn't write it. Noemi, tell her the question and she has to uh, say it again. Uh, okay, I have. Uh, would you mind tell me what you are doing? Okay, okay, Coralia, now it's your turn. Could you? No, would you, would you? Go to. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't. Care. Would you Go mind to. to tell me what you're doing? Would you mind tell me what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Kind of. Very good. Who is going to answer that question? Pick a boy. Uh, Fernando. 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 Hi. He wants to know Hi. what are you are you doing. Um. Um, I don't know what you're doing. You're For the moment in the class, teacher. Uh, yeah, very good, excellent. I'm studying English. Uh -huh. okay. All right, very good, excellent. Okay, now is the boy's turn. Uh, Melby, ask, say the question first. Okay. Would you mind singing me your favorite song? Okay, who you're going to pick for the girls? Which girl you want to answer that question? Merci, would you mind singing me your favorite song? Oh my God, merci. I don't have a favorite song. No, <laughs> this is not true. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good, very good. Excellent, excellent job. And now is your says, P -O -P -O -P. Yeah, P-O-P-O-P, -O -P -O -P, right? When you're angry, when you're cold. <laughs> All right, Mercy, ask a question, please. Uh, Only the question. Will you mind going out of the class? <laughs> okay. She's tired of the teacher, you know. Okay, <laughs> who are you going to ask that question? Who you want to answer that question? You have to pick a boy. Uh, Ronald. Ronald. Yes. Umberto. Okay. Uh, we cannot hear you, sir. So sorry, Mercy. What was the question? Would you mind going out of the class, please? 
<laughs> Sorry, teacher. You know what? She is an Inapolite way, but she's, she's telling you, get out. In other words, yeah. Example, yeah. Can you get out of the class, please? You know, but she's she's polite. She said, "Would you mind getting out of the class?" <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> That's okay. nice. Okay, guys. Okay, I'm going out. Yeah. Okay. But well, we're going to because time is over right now. You see, one hour passed really fast. Okay. Continue thinking about one question for would, could, and would you mind? And that's what we're going to do the first thing tomorrow. Okay, because okay. we'll continue practicing. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. Hugs and kisses. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. Good.